Sonali, let's talk about Pershing Square Capital Management's private funds. Who's pulling money and why? Speaking of JP Morgan, <laughs> they stopped recommending Pershing Square to their clients through the asset management division. Blackstone has also been pulling funds as well. About two thirds of investors who were able to redeem at the end of last year decided to do so. Yeah, I mean, we should mention that it's only been a quarter since there was a massive change of strategy and a sort of a, a, a change in the sense of a more humble Pershing Square, if you like. So it's fine that people pulled out, but it doesn't mean they will continue to pull out all year. There have been some wins, right? I mean, that's the biggest question, right? I mean, they're down to about 8.2 billion in assets from more than 20 billion in 2015. And 8.2 is a lot of money. 8.2 is. And the thing is, too, he did vow, he's been very optimistic. He vowed to stop all the underperformance. You know, he had a couple of really big flops that everyone knows about Valiant, for example, Herbalife. And in March, he did write a letter to investors saying that, you know, he's, he's done with disappointing performance.